The DBDC will be held in Boston from July the 28th to July the 31st, 2022. Welcome back to Approach the Bar. I am here again with the lovely Isabella Yunju, and we are going to continue discussing the pro smooth that happened at the recent Manhattan Dance Championships. Finishing fifth, we had, I'm not sure if it's from New York or LA, but probably New York now, Alexander and Alexandra. Their final analysis was five, six in tango, five, five. Do you think this was the result for them tonight? What do you feel? Uh, I thought, based on their previous results and previous showings, uh, this was a lower result than expected. However, based on the performance that night, my humble opinion, it was deserved. Uh, quite unfortunately, I have seen this couple probably two times now. Um, I was very impressed about the uh, matching of the two partners. They're both tall, they're lengthy, they're very elegant. Uh, so I do like the combination of the two dancers. Uh, whatever he has done to her is so amazing because this is truly the, for the first time I get to enjoy how beautiful Alexandra is. She's always been a gorgeous dancer, but for some reason the style that they chose to portray on the floor really exhibits how gorgeous she is. I was laughing um, after seeing them for the first time that I finally get to see her eyes. I see her vertically because with her previous partnership, um, we always saw her looking at the world sideways because there was such a great amount of shaping going on. So for the first time, I actually see her vertical. I get to appreciate her eyes, her face, her beautiful body. So in that regard, I enjoy the simplicity of the silhouette and the beauty that they both provide. They're both gorgeous people. Um, with their movement and their height and their length, uh, they're able to take a lot of space. So their kinesphere is quite large and they're really fulfilling that beautifully. What I think is lacking because of it is change of dynamic, change of speed, uh, mm. maybe a limit of surprise. Things become a little bit predictable uh, we can see what's going to happen next. We can foresee the future of where this movement is going to go. And if we compare, let's just take the tango between Alexi and Anastasia and them since the marks have flipped between the two couples. I think the reason why Alexi and Anastasia won is because of that dynamical change. And that's what was lacking with Alexander and Alexandra with this particular dance. Um, I think this is just the beginning for them. Uh, I hope that where they are mentally, this is not going to uh, put them in any particular state, but this is just a competition for them, one of many hopefully they'll do. So as long as they stay focused and they know what they want to do, um, I think that's going to be a great run for them. I think one thing that I definitely want to mention about them is that they are brave with their choices of costumes. They're not afraid. <laughs> To wear something that's really outstanding, very different from the rest of the crowd. And Chris, you must agree with me that whether you like it or not, you notice it. It does make a statement, it does make a splash, whether it hits your taste buds or it doesn't. So I sure hope that they are aware that with that kind of very brave uh, decision comes repercussion. Not a negative necessarily, right? There's always consequences, positive or negative. And if that's what they want to do, they want to be different, even with their costuming, more power to them. I think they just need to be aware that with a lot of the conservative approach from judges, that may not be something that's looking positively at. But then we have so many judges on the panel, thankfully, so there's going to probably be a bunch of judges that, that will look at it like, hey, great, somebody's doing something different. But I think it's important to remember that any brave choice like this, there's always going to be a consequence to that. As long as they're okay with that, kudos to them. Yeah, well, it's funny you should say that, because <laughs> obviously I, I didn't actually judge the event. So I was spectating. Um, I believe Alexander was wearing a white jacket. In the final, yes. In the final. So, I like clothes. And I like clothes <laughs> that, that fit really well. 
I also like clothes that look as if they just came out of a box. And unfortunately, his white jacket was covered in tab, which is not his fault. It's not even Alexandra's fault either. I also, but it just gave the wrong look. Yes. And for me, the jacket didn't fit. It, it, or because of the shirt underneath, there was something that I just didn't think it looked as classy as he can look, you know, because he's had some great uh, way out outfits. But this one, it was just, even just, it was so covered in tan. And I didn't have to judge, but I thought, well, I wonder how, I would, how that would fare with somebody else out beside him looking like James Bond in a proper tuxedo jacket. But uh, I, I agreed. I am seeing her in a whole different, different way now. And uh, I've done this with somebody else, and they said how the this couple are the most matched of all the couples in the family. I would agree with like, that statement. Just style wise. Yes. Yeah. Yes, very much so. And so, I will comment, Chris, on the tanning part. While you say this is nine of their moves fault, I think it's part of the preparation process to foresee these things will happen. I mean, as dancers, we understand that wearing white clothes is always a danger. So proper preparation, like proper tanning, has to be thought through. So uh, in my humble opinion, uh, this was just a misstep on their part, something they haven't thought through, mm -hmm. but that's something that can be fixed. I do agree that with the costuming they're bringing, I think we need to improve the quality Go for it, be as different as you want, stay classy, but make sure that the quality of what you're trying to bring is uh, impeccable to make sure that it's competitive and doesn't take away from what they're actually doing with their dancing. Yeah, well, uh, big final, still a good result because they are a new partnership. So, uh, well done, guys. And uh, the couple have finished sixth, and then obviously have really put their stamp on being in the conversation for the USDC final and the World Pro Smooth final at Embassy. They, uh... And we have an open spot in the final now, so it's going to be so exciting to see who's going to fill this up. I have uh, spoken with some of my colleagues from the smoothie style, as we call it, with other smoothies, and we realized that for a long time that final has been filled with the same couples. Right mm -hmm. now, we're going to see flip there's going to be a change happening so i'm extremely excited to see what is the new final going to look like so am i but before we do that we're going to find out who finished fourth at manhattan dance sport i am going to be back with the wonderful isabella yunju and we're going to continue discussing what happened at the pro smooth in manhattan dance sport 2021